Hi, uh, my name is Hamid Khan. I have uh, brown skin tone. I have uh, brown eyes, uh, thinning gray hair, and a long face. I'm wearing reading glasses, and I'm currently sitting down, uh, and the video only shows up to the top of my shoulders. Uh, there's a window behind me with a deep orange curtain. I'm also with the Stop LAPD Spine Coalition, um, whose mission is to build community power towards the abolition of the police state. The coalition organizes to expose and dismantle the rapid expansion of the surveillance state and the continuing incorporation of counterterrorism and counterinsurgency tactics and programs into local policing. Our vision is the abolition of surveillance, spying, and infiltration in its multiple forms. The policies violate our human rights, undermine basic democratic principles, and impact our political, structural, economic, and cultural lives. The coalition intends to demystify the perceived challenges of accessing documents from the public sector and state institutions. Hi, I'm Aldo, uh, a medium brown skin tone non-binary person of an undiscernible age. I'm wearing a pair of big black headphones over a blue-green tie-dye headband attempting to tame a mop of gray curly hair. I also have a pair of brown rectangular eyeglasses on my face covering a set of tired weary eyes. I'm also wearing a beige t-shirt top because I'm working from home, there's a bed in the background and I don't have the best lighting. I'm also a member of Color Coded, a technology collective based in Los Angeles, examining and addressing how tech is not neutral. Uh, we also support organizations like the Stop LAPD Spying Coalition in developing technology projects like the Coalition's Archive. Uh, for this phase of the project, we have designed and built a WordPress website as a working prototype of our vision. The site is accessible through the browser and contains a homepage, a section for curated timelines, a browsable archive, and video resources for getting involved. Visually, the website uses, uses a top navigation with a maroon background. On the homepage, we feature uh, the graphic for the Before the Bullet Hits the Body campaign. Hi, my name is Ben Brannion. I have a light skin tone. I have dark brown eyes, short dark brown hair, and a mix of red and brown colored beard. I have a long face. I'm sitting down with a video showing the top of my shoulders. I'm wearing a t-shirt. There's a wall behind me with a poster. In phase one, we have created a prototype of the archive using the open source CMS WordPress. The code base is stored in a public repository that will allow for future collaboration from other web developers. The website is being hosted with May 1st Movement Technology, a nonprofit membership organization that engages in building movements by advancing the strategic use and collective control of technology for local struggles, global transformation, and emancipation without borders. Hi, my name is Jamie Garcia. I'm an organizer with the Stop LAPD Spying Coalition. I have black hair, I have brown eyes, I have light brown skin, I have a rounded face and a very big smile. I'm seated down in front of the computer. You can see my shoulders and a gray uh, shirt that I'm wearing and the wall behind me is beige. I'm a nurse and a grassroots organizer. And when I say a grassroots organizer, that means that I've learned how to organize by organizing. And I also want to say that I'm a grassroots archivist, and that means I've learned how to archive by doing our archive work and by building this archive. And I say this because I'm that the community will also be a part of not only learning how to archive, but learning how to use an archive towards building power and knowledge towards dismantling policing. Um, in my process of learning how to archive and looking at documents and creating metadata, I really started by thinking about what does the community want to learn? What, what does it mean to read a document? And how do we find that document? Now that search may be based on language that the state often uses to describe who we are and how we experience the world or how they categorize us. But also this language is also about how we experience the world. So this archive is really going to explore state language and our own language. So for example, LAPD, the Los Angeles Police Department, often describes their policing as community policing. At the Stop LAPD Spying Coalition, we see this as counterinsurgency, a way that police comes into our community with 
motives to criminalize us and to gather information about us. Another example of this is Hollenbeck Division, how LAPD tries to describe the Boyle Heights community. Hi everyone, my name is Dylan Sung. I'm light to medium beige in skin tone. I have black monolid eyes and long frizzy hair. I have an oval slash heart shaped face. Um, and I'm often told that I look quite young for my age. I'm currently sitting down and the video shows up to the tops of my shoulders. There is a bookcase and a window with curtains behind me. For phase one, our core team of five um, has been meeting weekly towards a completed proof of concept for the Stop LAPD Spying Archive project. The proof of concept highlights Operation Laser or Los Angeles Strategic Extraction and Restoration uh, PRA documents as an example to demonstrate the intentions, functions, and contents of our archive. Our digital archive is meant to function as an archive of ongoing community resistance, then an archive of LAPD policing policies, crime maps, and grant applications. We create community knowledge in part through our active filing of PRAs, which require navigating communication with the LAPD regarding which documents must be released to the public. Our archive project is intended to extend this meeting making and intervention through to the archival process itself. Part of our development of abolitionist technology is this creation of language through the building of folksonomies or our own vernacular vocabulary for descriptive metadata. With the inclusion of diverse folksonomies, as Jamie provided examples for, uh, regarding community responses to these questions of state categories that appear in the PRA documents is the potential to intervene in exclusionary knowledge production. So we are so thankful to IBEAM for helping us support this work. Thank you so much.